Hey, what's up guys? We're here. We're going to do some amp dyno videos. We got ourselves a GoPro 3 and uh, it's, uh, you know, going to take a little bit getting used to. So, but let's get started. We got this uh, RE Audio um, BT 900.4. This is their new um, four channel amplifier that's powered by a Bluetooth processor. And uh, basically what that means is there's a, a Bluetooth chipset built into the amplifier and you can pair up your phone directly to the amp. And so your music can go from your device straight to the amplifier, no cables required at all. Obviously you still need to wire up the amplifier to your speakers, but it also does have the ability to input signal from like an aftermarket head unit or a factory head unit as well too. So you can kind of see that here. You can see the input, we got it connected to the dyno and um, it's pretty cool. So if, uh, if you're listening to your radio, uh, and then you connect your phone to the amplifier, it automatically switches over to Bluetooth. But enough about that, let's just see if this amplifier lives up to what it's supposed to do. And uh, as you can see on the box, um, 80 watts by four at four ohms, 120 watts by four at two ohms, and 230 by two bridged. So um, let's, uh, let's put it through the test and uh, see what we come up with. All right, cool, we got the camera aimed at the dyno and uh, we're gonna go ahead with the certified test first. And I'm just measuring one channel on the amplifier and we're gonna do our forum load first. Let's select that guy. Now uh, let's select the right track here. And we'll hit go. And she's off. You can see our voltage to the right, and you can see the power climbing on the left there. Cool, we got 95 watts for the one channel. Now I know if you load down the channels on the amplifier, you may get slightly different results. I can't completely control the battery bank that we have. Obviously you can see it's 14.87 volts, slightly higher than what the manufacturer states at 14.4. Needless to say, you can tell this amplifier is definitely going to give you its 80 watts, no problem. So um, let's go ahead and uh, move on to 2 ohms. And we'll get started here. Boom. See what she does now. Should be quite a bit more power. So we're expecting 120 watts. And we definitely got it. So 155 actually. So 155 at two ohms at 14.8 volts. So I mean, uh, you know, for you guys out there saying, you know, 14.8 is definitely more than 14.4. You could definitely do the math yourself, but you're gonna probably come out with, you know, 135 watts anyway. It's not gonna be a tremendous difference. So it definitely is gonna exceed the 120 watts that the manufacturer is stating. And, um, and I need a cut here to, um, bridge the amplifier just so you guys can can see that if you even care all right so uh, we're back I got the amplifier bridge so you can see what the output is um, and then after that we're gonna go ahead and do our dynamic test which in my opinion is kind of what most people should be typically looking for in terms of the power output um, that's actually gives you a simulation of how much power you're getting when you're playing music uh, your certified test is great too, but realistically at the end of the day, it's really just a single tone that it's playing and uh, I'm sure you're playing music in your car so you want to see what this amplifier really does when you're actually using it with listening to a CD or your iPod and actually playing some music. So let's get to it. So certified. And four ohms bridged. and start. And we're creeping up. I'm sure we're going to get over 230 watts since everything else did so far. Perfect. 245 watts, 14.77 volts. So uh, we definitely know we're for sure going to at least get the rated manufacturer output at 230 at 14.4. So. Uh, being 14.7, slightly above, is going to give us another 10, 15 watts. So we're we're right on par with uh, with what uh, RE Audio is actually stating on this amplifier. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and kind of work backwards real quick. Since this is already bridged right now, I'm gonna go ahead and go to our dynamic test. Let's get exit out of here. And we'll go to dynamic power run. And we're still gonna do uh, bridged four ohms. And we're gonna see what we're gonna get out of it this way. So this is representing music. And typically you're gonna find that dynamic RMS power is usually gonna be quite a bit more. So as you can see, 277 watts, where the manufacturer says 230. So definitely good power for, for bridging channel one and two. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead real quickly, I'm just gonna kinda leave that recording. I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect so we can just measure uh, the single channel four ohm and two ohm impedances to see what we get out of it dynamically as well. All right, there we go. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. But let's go with four ohms. And we're starting. So this is four ohms dynamic. Ninety-seven, still pretty good. So, all right. So anyway, um, so now uh, let's go ahead and do our uh, two ohm dynamic, and we're off. Sweet, 167 watts. Cool, so we're just gonna recap the numbers. So uh, our four ohm certified test, we got 95 watts. Our four ohm dynamic test, 97 watts. Uh, our two ohm certified, 155. And our two ohm dynamic, 167. Now bridged, uh, four ohms, we've got certified 245 watts and dynamic, 277. As you can see, the amplifier definitely did perform and, uh, and probably exceed by a little bit what the manufacturer states uh, on the box. I think the thing to take home with this amplifier is its unique uh, Bluetooth audio input. Uh, the marketing team and I actually a couple weeks ago had an opportunity just for the hell of it because it was pretty cool. Hook up the amplifier on the bench and just test the range and I think we got in a straight line of almost about 100 feet if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, I mean, this thing is really versatile in its applications. You could use it in a boat, um, and you could use it in a car, I mean, you could use it anywhere. So, I'm Alan with Sonic Electronics. Thanks for watching. And this is the RE Audio BT 900.4.